Hello there YouTube it is your boy King Sunny here back with our video guys today's video is going to be a very important video we will talk about defending yes we will talk about defending we will talk about how to defend on FIFA 22 either you use L2 R2 you use L2 you use second man press what do you actually do I'm going to answer your questions once and for all because I am done please listen to me okay I have been encouraging you guys to use the gas and brake technique if you don't know what is the gas and brake technique then I'll put the link in the description you can go see it today I will clear once and for all if you need to use running jockey or gas and brake when do you need to use running jockey when do you need to use gas and brake technique let me explain so sit back and relax watch this video and towards the end of this video you will have answers and you will become a better FIFA player so in this instance as you can see I am currently controlling your Cancelo who am I controlling Cancelo right and there is this Garincha making run in behind Cancelo and there is space as you can see on my controller currently I am holding R2 and L2 I've always told you guys if you wanna make an interception on a pass the best thing is to do R2 and L2 right I cannot give him the space right like I said his moment Gary so what am I gonna do I'm gonna hold R2 button because if I hold L2 and R2 together then my player will be slower down this is the gas technique we gotta use the R2 button which button we gotta use the R2 button in order to cover the space right just keep watching till the end right it's very important so we hold R2 button to cover the space right otherwise it's moment Gary I will not be able to catch him up now the moment I get closer to him I am paying attention to what he is doing right he is slowing down because he is slowing down I know that he is slowing down what am I gonna do I'm gonna let go of the R2 button hold L2 because the L2 button gonna give me better positioning and that better positioning will give me more control on my player and that more control will be translated into my defensive positioning and I will be able to defend better right now look the moment I see that he might get away I hold R2 again L2 again switch back inside right and now I'm holding R2 and L2 button once again because I'm trying to intercept the pass right because when intercepting I always tell you to use R2 and L2 together because we are trying to intercept the pass right and now what happens I switch to Bellingham to intercept this pass again while holding R2 and L2 and second man press together right be mindful of who you are second man pressing with just don't mindlessly second man press because the goal is to defend the space not give up the space right so as long as you are taking the risk which is calculated it's all good right so what happens I switch back to Cancelo and end up getting the ball back right now in this example look in this in this example it's all about R2 and L2 right because the running jockey I'm trapping him but the moment he passes back and I see there is an opportunity to press what do I do I hold R2 button and run towards him quickly and then what do I do because I've ranged towards him quickly I switch to KDB try to cover this pass while holding second man press with Sancho right now this guy is confused where to go and I end up getting the ball back so you see this is the skill now look it's all about anticipation man if your anticipation isn't good how can you improve defending is situational there is no right or wrong in defending look at the radar over here I am controlling Van Dyke, his Hyung, not Hyung Min Son his other player Eusebi or someone is making a run and I am going with him because I cannot give him the space so I am holding R2 to sprint faster at my highest speed because I need to cover the space while holding R1 so because I am holding R1 this Arnold is pressing this guy correct you feel me and what happens I end up getting the ball back because he tries to play into that space look now over here with Laporte I see he is getting away what do I do I hold R2 button once again because I hold R2 button and the moment he slows down the moment he slows down I hold L2 because if he's slowing down means he's either looking for the pass or either he's gonna take me one on one and do a skill move and I try to mirror him right I go with him with the left stick while holding L2 because it's giving me a wider defensive structure stance to defend right you feel me but the moment I see that he is being forced towards the wing I hold R1 as well pressure him and get the ball out now this is very interesting right this guy once again can make the pass inside so I'm holding R2 and L2 but he has this space to exploit as well right the moment I see he's running in this space I let go of L2 and I hold R2 button guys stay with me it's very important right now this guy is forced either he can go here or over here but if he goes here my Cancelo is running with him right now I forced him to turn back 
what happens next i switch to kdb with the right stick and hold l2 and r2 together because the running jockey is very good for what interceptions right and i am holding r1 again now i have trapped this guy look once again l2 and r2 second man press trying to cover this pass what is it anticipation reading him and paying attention to what he is doing with the player defending is not mindless you have to pay attention to what the player is doing i can show you the right buttons what to use when to use but when you are playing you must carefully analyze the situation and use the right buttons accordingly right and then i switched to my american laport again trying to intercept this pass okay look once again the moment i get closer to him i hold l2 because i do not want him to beat me right look what button am i holding l2 why because he is closer to me now you see how laporte is standing right in front of him he cannot get away from me you see this is why the l2 button is so commanding in one v1 situations right and i am forcing him to turn back once again with laporte holding l2 l2 and he just takes a weak shot because he had no option now this this is so important guys this aspect right here is so important This Vini Junior is running. I have taught Bellingham, and there is so much space. Vini has 99 pace, right? And he's gonna play an R1, R1 triangle, OP pass. So in this situation, if I hold L2 and R2 together and fall back, my player will be slower. Vini will be faster, and I will potentially concede. So what do I do? I let go of L2. I run with R2. Now the moment I get closer, I start spamming L2 like this. Look, like this. Why? Because this. will now allow me to shoulder him push him off the ball and you will see what happens i end up getting the ball back now look with this with van dijk i am being aggressive i want him to think that i'm going to give him the space the moment he thinks that i'm going to come back into the space that's why i'm holding l2 and r2 but the moment i let go of that i see once again what does this guy have right now space so which button am i holding r2 button uh, the gas button in order to close down the space right the moment i get closer i will hold the l2 button you see you say bio is closing in laporte is closing in which button am i holding the l2 button and the result is in front of you i will get the ball back now it's all about evaluating the situation man look once again in this situation which button am i holding l2 and i get the ball back I titled this video I am done because guys look in my videos people literally comment oh I am using gas brake it doesn't work oh my god this and that guys I did not wake up and had a dream to practice this technique I have learned it from professional players from professional coaches myself I have been using these techniques for 5 years now and with trial and error you learn defending is situational it comes with experience it comes with anticipation however if i am able to teach you the right thing if i am able to show you the right thing if i am able to show you the right way then if you practice it and be honest with yourself it's a process if you stick to it you will eventually improve defending is not an overnight process you cannot learn it overnight however i am giving you the tools i am showing you what to do when to do now in game it's you who has to do it if you do it wrong i am not responsible for it i am responsible for you only in this scenario that i am teaching you the right thing and i assure you that i am teaching you the right thing as long as you practice it and improve your anticipation guys let me know what you learned from this video down in the comments smash that like button make sure to check out my patreon patreon.com/kingsun27 and until next time it's me kingsun yo